Hey Uranus people, Uranians. I'm here with summer 2023. This reading is for you. It's for people who feel like Uranus plays a significant role in their natal chart. They are very much drawn to it or you're like Aquarian, right? Like you have different aspects to Aquarius, all that stuff. So. So I'm thinking of like blood thinner. And if anyone's wondering Sorry, I'm using the Star Mantera. Okay. You're not as far out as you think. You're not as off mark and off base as you think. And you're not as bad as you think. Wow. So, some of you have a hard time looking in the mirror because you don't like what you see. Mm. A lot of repressed anger at oneself. Looking at yourself, why can't you be as pretty as the people on TV or as whatever. It's a very comparative energy, right? <sighs> So comparing yourself to people has cost you what? What has it cost you and what shortcuts have you been trying to make because you're trying to be someone else or do something else or do something very quickly, make very rash decisions, very quick decisions. What has it gotten you exactly? You need to really like figure that out before you decide that this was like a good decision I think it's not how you feel excuse me per se although it does play a part but it's like how you look I guess energetically like energetically because you could feel fine but energetically and spiritually be like very bankrupt right or very spiritually energetically exhausted but still on the physical level feel like pretty decent so this would be like the reading for people who like maybe have a lot of tears holes in their auras who have a lot of um maybe very different colors in their auras uh conflicting energies within their auras like stuck threads in their auras stuck energy like basically and you would have to try and figure that out You may be somebody who likes video games like a lot. Um, and so the video games you like have really high stakes. But if you're trying to like, so it could be also trying to use the cheat code that everybody else does. Very unique, right? Being Uranus. Um, but trying to use the cheat code that everybody else uses is not conducive for you. And where you're trying to go and what you're trying to do and um what you feel like is a shortcut for other people really is an obstruction to you because it doesn't feel like energetically you jive with it like energetically you don't jive with it you could be a very repellent person and you may feel that energy when you interact with people places things very it comes off very punitive like uh when things are not aligned it feels very punitive to you it feels very restrictive very punitive very um easy come easy go and that could wear on you a lot especially if you have to kind of turn over i was gonna say cellularly turn over but if you have to turn over a new leaf like a lot um, it could wear on you a lot. So 
So just making sure that you haven't built your life based on other people, places, things. Um, it, it just, it makes <laughs> life incredibly boring if everybody's the same. Um, it makes life incredibly annoying and really kind of dangerous because there's there's this assumption that you get you are so strong in your assumption that to kind of go against it um feels you know it feels wrong but there's a lot going on that leads me to believe that forging your own path and making sure that you are taking your own path and not taking shortcuts that other people suggest to you. So this would be someone who really would repel get rich quick schemes, would repel, um, would just repel behaviors that it's commonly acceptable for other people to do. And you may feel a little bit of rage about that because it's like okay so other people get to be cheaters or liars manipulators and they get kind of rewarded quote unquote rewarded with um relationships or access to certain things access to certain groups access to certain clubs and i being in my truth kind of don't and i might as well take the shortcut and be like everybody else and then I'll get it. But the thing with you is, I guess because you have to be at a, at a very high, high vibrational state, a very elevated state, um, for you, you're not allowed to like dip below a certain point, apparently. You're not allowed to dip a certain mental capacity, a certain mental state. Um, it's almost like the emotion... I was going to say emotion well, but the emotion, like the list of emotions or whatever, or um, a li uh, hurts and it's like the lowest is associated with certain emotions and the highest is associated. You're not supposed to get below a certain point because I think that if you get below that point, um, it's like a trigger or something clicks in for you to want to take shortcuts. But that's when a lot of the punitive karmic energy starts to come in. And take things away from you so you really know you when you're on the wrong path when things get taken from you um, you know when you're misaligned when shit gets taken from you a lot of things get taken it's like not by choice it's something stepping in and taking it from you and you feel it immediately uh, I feel like you'll know this nine is there instead of ten. You'll know that. You'll know that there is something um, that has happened that has shifted. And you need to get yourself together. So you have learned or will learn how to kind of not necessarily mentally kick yourself in the butt. But mentally course correct or course correct in general and orally course correct like your aura your actual a u r a to make sure that you are attracting things that are uh more in the up and up like you are somebody who needs to be on the up and up uh, because things can snowball for you also if you get out of misalignment you need to make sure that you stay in alignment and you stay strong in that you really um, you're someone who perhaps in the past is very widely in emotional states, is very widely in um, characteristics and things like that. Uh, try to figure yourself out and where you fit, blah, 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 blah. Um, as you've gotten your own unique signature and understood that you have your own unique signature, you may also have a unique signature fragrance that you like that most people would not, you know, it's a mass produced product, but like, um, that most people wouldn't know about or wouldn't like and it really suits you well it's almost like it's almost like a fragrance that stinks on everybody but you and it smells really nice and charming and uplifting and it's very enticing to other people because it works very well with what you're doing 
Um, if it hadn't worked with you, the bottle would have broke, you would have lost the receipt, you couldn't return it. The person you gave it to would have regifted it to somebody and then it made it way it made its way back to you and you're like, damn, like, didn't I give this to somebody like two summers ago or two Christmases ago or something shit like that? Um, so there would be like a lot of punitive kind of things. And I think also with your like finances or just social stature and social positioning, you would be like lowered but you would know it I don't feel like this is a group that would be like oblivious to like their life kind of not going in the direction they want like I feel like you'd be very well aware because the signs would be quite obvious for you if you did not go in a direction that you um needed to go into that was more vibrationally aligned you also may have very prohibitive um bodily functions when things are misaligned so you may have like a really sensitive gut really sensitive throat really sensitive feet really sensitive hands really sensitive nervous system really sensitive eyes head whatever you're very sensitive and you kind of know when shit is off with the environment and with you you're very fine-tuned and very focused um on not it's not necessarily health but like i guess the well-being the overall well-being of yourself holistically physically mentally spiritually um and so you need to like be okay with that and maintain that there's just a level of there's a standard that spirit doesn't want you to go below and it may be slightly higher than the standard that you have for yourself which means you just have to elevate the standard you know if you if you don't go below a step seven, they want you to not go below a step 10, which isn't a really large jump. There is a significant development within oneself to get to that level, but it's not so far away that you would get discouraged and give up, right? You wouldn't get really that discouraged. Like seven, <coughs> seven to 10 is not a really large gap to fill, but it does take some sort of work to get over the hump. You know, it's not as easy as a 9 to 10. It's not as easy as 8 to 10. But it is definitely a lot easier to deal with than like a 0 to 10. You know, you have the momentum and the ability and the strength and the know with all to elevate yourself to that level. And you have the encouragement to do it as well. Because dipping below, you know, half for the sake of the 0 to 10, you would feel a lot of forces that are against you working against you and you would perhaps feel the need again the fight or flight mode to cut corners to um fight against all these forces that you think are coming against you to quell um what you think so this also could be like um you could be somebody who has a very delicate mental health balance quite delicate um and you really need to honor that um, you could be very thrown off very quickly, it seems like, with uh, mental health issues if anything goes wrong. Uh, so perfectionism, things don't have to be perfect according to other standards. It has to be perfect according to the standards that you set. But the standards that spirit sets because, again, you will know punitive uh actions if you get it wrong um it's less affirming so i guess i don't know i guess it seems like you learn more with punitive actions than like affirmative it's not that you don't get affirmed but i kind of feel like it needs you need it obviously clear to you that you're going in the wrong direction and you you operate i think very um in a way where I think it's not that you look for negatives, but I do feel like your line of sight is very clear so that anything that disturbs that line of sight is very immediate. So you could be somebody who's very neat. You could be somebody who's very much disciplined, very much in order, very much, um, you're just very like, because your life is so stable, so to speak, uh, any disturbance really is magnified within you and within a situation and it could be quite disturbing to you 
And so like, again, um, that mental health balance may be pretty fragile. Sorry for saying it like that, but it may be like that. So. Yeah, so I would say make sure recalibration and making sure that you understand punitive nature of things. Um, you may, in your later years, or, you know, want to transition, it may flip where you start to see more positive things. Um, you may struggle with that because you're so used to the more punitive observation. But I think that perhaps for where you are, uh, that would be really, um, perhaps with these sores and things like that, you, you are in a more mental state of being. And as a result, it just makes more logical sense to not be in a more feeling state, which I think would be more positive associations. I think you would, you would really be uh, embodying all of that. And I don't know, perhaps you're not ready to embody that just yet, but it doesn't mean that that's bad. It's just how you operate right now. And I think you also need to know with Uranus, particularly Aquarian energy being fixed, that you're not necessarily fixed, is that you need to work how you work and how it's working for you until it doesn't and then pivot. And um, you'll know how to pivot when you get there or you'll learn how to pivot and you'll adjust to what what clues you get when you are going in the right direction for yourself or the wrong direction for yourself okay so i think you have gotten overloaded with information and so i'm going to stop right here i hope that you are able to process this i hope that it's insightful impactful inspirational to you but that's all I have for Uranus. So I hope that you, like I said, enjoyed this reading and I'll catch you guys for fall 2023. Thank you. Bye.